You know, the first thing is, you know, we're very upfront about it. So in the hiring process, you know, how each HR person goes through this and says, you know, we understand that you may not be a believer uh, of Christ, but, you know, these principles that are important to our company are, you know, are based from the Bible. So, you know, we're very upfront about it. So they come in with informed consent. Um, now, the, the, there are, you know, specific things that we do throughout the year, and we're very, you know, methodical about it. I, I'm a part of Convene, and, and I could honestly say that over the last five years, my perceptions, my values, you know, have completely been transformed by interacting with other, you know, Christian businessmen and, and learning from them. Uh, but, you know, we constantly challenge each other on, on the exact same questions. You know, what, what do we, you know, specifically do? Um, so if I could cite, you know, just, just one example. Um, uh, again, you know, I, I'm just humbled to be here. I'm humbled by, you know, the humility that you've all shown. And I want to share this, you know, just as a testament to what, you know, God is doing. Uh, but this, this whole concept of a kingdom assignment that Danny uh, Bellisio, pastor in uh, Orange County, started, where he um, gave some members of his congregation, you know, $100 and said, you know, you are a steward of these $100. Go out into the world and come back and tell us what you were able to do with it. So one of the, you know, members in our convene group, you know, to, brought it to our attention. We decided to try it in our company. So, you know, we said a lot of times, you know, we, we look at profit and we say, you know, the profit is some you know, something that the owners or the stewards, you know, give away to some organization. But is there a way that we could teach stewardship to our employees, employees who are atheists, employees who are, you know, Hindus, Muslims, you know, all, all, all variety of people. So, you know, we, we got our HR manager to call the entire company. And when you're small, when you're less than 80, you know, you could afford to do it. Uh, but, but we had envelopes with a few hundred dollars for each one. And, and, and she got everyone in and they had no idea why they were coming in. And she basically said, um, you know, we, we want to actually show something that's, that's from the Bible. And she went through the parable of the talents. And, you know, and she read through it and explained what it was. And she said, so each one of you, you know, gets this and you are a steward of this. There are only two rules. You have to realize that this money is not for you. And you have to use it for something else that would, you know, benefit someone else. You don't have to report back to us. You don't have to report, you know, what you're going to do with it. You're a steward of it. And, you know, people looked around, they didn't know, you know, what to expect. <laughs> and, and we said, you know, if you care to, three months from now we'll have a Christmas party and you're welcome to come and share any stories that you may have. People just left the room, not a word was said and they were all confused. <laughs> because, you know, this was something brand new. And then we started seeing, you know, people work. And again, we said there's no management approval. You don't have to ask your supervisor. You just realize that you're a steward of this money. And the stories we heard three months down, which you know, I could take three hours to explain it, but there's one, there's one guy who um, his wife happened to be a teacher at the Anaheim School District. And they were going through a time where they were short on funds and the teachers didn't have money to uh, buy supplies for the classroom. So he took the $500 and he, create, he went to the school district, created a competition where all the class children would bring canned food because he also found that Salvation Army was lacking you know, canned food. So he had a competition across the district, 19 schools over a three week period where the kids would bring school, you know, canned goods and the class that collected the most would get you know, an award. In the course of three weeks, he collected four tons of canned food that they were able to donate to Salvation Army. But, but the interesting thing is, even to this day, two years later, I hear stories of employees coming back and saying, you know, the reaction from their community that we were doing something like this, where they had to explain the whole concept of stewardship. So, you know, we, we, and again, you know, Convene is, you know, brilliant about this in, in sort of encouraging us, forcing us to, to do things that would deliberately, you know, show people, you know, what we believe in, what we stand for.